Hey, what's up everybody? Just another quick engine update. Uh, I've been working a lot on importing and parsing GLTF files, as well as animation data with bones, as well as just, you know, of course, animation data without bones. And there's duplicates here, but it's different situations I was trying to handle. Like, you know, I'd pull in one and it would be oriented wrong. The other one would be oriented a different way. And I decided to keep going through and messing with things until it looked right. I don't know if what I'm doing is exactly perfect yet. Uh, some of the stuff I kind of just winged it and it just ended up uh, working after enough messing around. But uh, yeah, it, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I've done this before and I remember it was a pain back then, but I think I didn't really handle all the cases when I did it before. And this time I feel like I've got at least most of them. So the next thing I'm going to do is I haven't done morph animations yet. And that lets you do things like this. And I think it can be used for things like facial expressions, like transitioning between them, or maybe like a mouth opening, like somebody talking. Uh, or if you wanted a character to go from like skinny to fat, I guess you could have like uh, vertices for the fat model and vertices for the skinny model. That could be kind of funny. But, uh... After I do that, the next thing I want to work on is when I'm loading in these GLTF files, uh, I want to be able to generate collision for them. And to do that, I was going to look at this library called VHACD. And it's supposed to let me generate a bunch of uh, convex hole meshes with it. So then I could use those inside of Jolt library to do collision. And I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit trickier than the way I'm making it sound, but we'll see when I get to that part. And that's all I've really got for this, and thanks for watching.